Greetings grapplers, welcome to Judo for Jiu Jitsu. My name is Larry Keith and this is Brian Powers. And today we're going to be talking about a Ko Uchigari follow up attack. Okay, so first we're going to start off by reviewing kind of the standard, uh, well, our standard version of Ko Uchigari for um, dealing with. You know, the jiu-jitsu low crouched posture. So if we're in this position here, and I can make Brian take a nice little bit of a step there where he's got a, a nice wide base, it's easy for me to come in and clip his foot and follow up with my knee slice pass, my knee cutter pass, okay? So, but that's if he's in that, in that wide base. Now the judo version of this would be more of a timing based thing where as he steps forward, I clip, well, I'll still follow through, okay? but it's more timing based. There's a, there's a medium in there, right? So if I catch Brian in this more of a medium stance here, I might come in and clip his foot, but it won't necessarily make him fall directly down. So we're looking to catch the leg. I'm gonna do what's uh, sometimes referred to as a hand assist. So I catch his foot, I'm gonna lift it up and then pass it over to my left hand. So I come in, clip, catch. Okay. Now from here, oftentimes a good follow-up would be to move into like an Ouchigari position. So here, boom, and I can drive him down to the mat or ease him down like I just did. You can reap the leg, boom, and get a lot of power into that, but um, unnecessary for your, you know, for your partner. Give your, uh, you know, give your partner a chance to, to uh, survive for the next practice, right? So, um, but the bad part about that one is that as I do this, I'm landing inside of his guard, okay? I would prefer not to do that if I can help it, right? I would rather land in a, in a solid position, a good follow-up position immediately, and maybe even a submission opportunity immediately. So, um, let's turn this way. So here's another option. So once I pop that foot up and catch it, rather than stepping behind Brian, I'm gonna add a Sase Tsurikomi Ashi. So, I come in close, I get my hips close to him, I get my, my power underneath him. So I'm gonna lift a little bit with my grip here. I'm gonna lift his leg a little bit with my left hand and I'm gonna sweep his foot backwards behind him here. So he lands in this position. I'm in a much better follow-up position right now than I would have been if I landed inside of his car. So let's do this one more time. Okay. So we're here. I've got my grips, I come in, I pop that foot up, grab it, instead of stepping behind, I come in, lift, sweep, let him down. There's a knee bar follow up here. I can fall to this side, shin step, boom, got a knee bar, okay? Bring this leg through if I want to. His leg is underneath my armpit. All I gotta do is hug my own knee and hip in to the tap. Okay, so we're here. I clip the foot, catch the leg, step in, and I lift. So I lift posture, chest up, okay? So from here, I've got the leg, step in, posture up, sweep, boom, right up to the floor. Now from here, driving, knee bar. So that's a method of using Sase Tsuri Komi Ashi as a follow-up to your Kouchigari, right? So you use the Kouchigari, you pop the foot up, you have a hand assist, you grab the leg, uh, kind of in a knee pick position from the outside, and then step in, posture up, Sase Tsuri Komi Ashi with your right foot, person falls, you're in a very dominant position. Uh, after they fall. So if you find value in this video or in our other videos, please be sure to give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and click on the notification tab so you don't miss any future videos. So remember, when you learn a technique, you know one technique. When you learn a concept, you know a thousand techniques. So until next time, we'll see you on the flip side.